So yeah guys, what that was, was actually a simple 1-4-5 um, progression in the key of C minor. And most of these arpeggios I used were just simply based on, the, on, those, uh, on those chords, on this progression. So the first one is um, C minor major 9. So it's, it's a C minor triad with a major 7th and major 9 on top. So it looks like this, for instance, you could play this chord like that. The second one is a uh, F minor 9. Which is which looks like this, and then the last one was actually G seven flat nine, which you could play like that, for instance. But then back to the C minor triad, which looks like this. So um, what I actually did was um, using some Gambali style um, patterns. Uh, however that weird that might not sound because I, I know that uh, this doesn't sound like him at all but believe me those patterns were really inspired by him I mean the the way I play those uh, so uh, the first one for instance we, we would um, we could break down the first one so it's like this I'm starting from the root which is the C of course um, it's on the eighth fret of the E string and I move to the to the third which is E flat then to the G, and uh, these are uh, 8 on the E, 6th uh, on the A, and then 5th on the D. Then I move to the 7th, which is on the ninth fret of the D, then to the root. And then I'm going uh, the same way actually, 3rd which is on the 8th fret of the uh, G, then the 5th on the 8th uh, fret of the B. And then back to the root. So this arpeggio looks like that. Okay. And then descending, I'm um, going from the third to the ninth to the root, uh, then to the fifth. And this, these, I, I know you see the frets, so I'm not really sure if that's necessary. Let me know in the comments. But anyway, eleventh, tenth, eight on the E, then back to the eight, eight on the B and G respectively, and then I'm going to the ninth on the D string on the twelfth fret. I mean, I love this fucking sound. It's it's gorgeous. Uh, anyway, uh, then to the root, which is on the tenth uh, fret of the D, and then to the seventh major seven, and then to the fifth on the A string, uh, which is on the tenth fret, and then back to the third on the eleventh fret, which is the E flat, then to the D, which is uh, the ninth on the tenth fret, and then to the root. So the whole arpeggio looks like this. One more time. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, so um, hope you enjoyed that, and see you next time.